Welcome back. Welcome back to another Beeline to Passports. My name is Joe Batista. I'm your host. And tonight we have a special guest. And not only a special guest, we are recording for a special place. We are in Puerto Rico. We are in my island. And we have this special guest. That they are from Puerto Rico. They have several titles because uh, my, on my right hand, I have Mr. Jose Del Valle. He is a master of photography, but also he is a musician. And on my left hand side, we have J3. He is a musician and they have a project together as a family. Welcome to Beeline to Passports from Puerto Rico. Bienvenidos. Thank you, thank you. Gracias, gracias. Qué bueno que estás acá en nuestra casa. ¿Qué es tu casa? Estás de regreso por acá. Qué bueno que estás por acá y que nos permites compartir contigo en este momento y con la teleaudiencia. Gracias, gracias. J3, bienvenido. Gracias, gracias por la bienvenida. Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing great today. I'm happy to be here and that you're here, here with us today. Thank you, thank you. And uh, every week, We have guests in our uh, show, but we always start like how everything started. We want to know about you, uh, about where you're from. Um, these two gentlemen are, are here, but also their family. We want to know how everything started with their project and everything. We want to know. We're nosy. We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, comenzó mucho, mucho tiempo atrás. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bueno, cuando yo estaba... Eh, en, ya terminando mi, mi high school, comencé a tocar con diferentes bandas eh, de rock, pop, ska, reggae, esto, y pues cuando me casé, ya yo estaba en algunas bandas, y nació mi querido hijo J3. Okay. Entonces cuando nace mi hijo J3, él me ve desarrollándome en las tarimas, y entonces pues él quería estar con su papá, y se trepaba en las tarimas con, con guitarras de juguete. Entonces okay. se, se, se paraba junto a mí mientras yo estaba tocando. Pues él se paraba y, y creía que estaba tocando, ¿verdad? <risa> hacía, hacía su show, todo el mundo emocionado porque un niño estaba allí en la tarima y la pasaba súper bien conmigo. Y de, de ahí nació la, la, el deseo de ir por la música y lo fui cultivando hasta el momento en que pues, se hizo un músico profesional. That's excellent. You know, uh, for our audience, the Anglo audience, you know, everything started years, years ago in different bands, you know, reggae, rock, pop, pop. pop, and this other gentleman, his son, so daddy, you know, uh, playing, and he started in the business with, uh, you know, toys, and <laughs> see everything, how is being in the entertainment industry, yes. that is not easy, yes. definitely it's not easy, and, um, Dime, ¿qué ha pasado eh, en, en la carrera? Porque sé que aparte de estar en lo que es la música, eh, también has eh, estado en lo que es la fotografía. Y que tienes un título muy, muy importante, maestro de fotografía. Ay, eso no todo el mundo. He is a master in photography. That is a title. It's not every photographer that you see around there. Uh, they are photographers. And some, some are, they taking pictures. <laughs> And they know how to play with a camera. I'm one of those. <laughs> But, you know, this gentleman here, he's a master in photography. Dime, ¿cómo primeramente llegaste? Estando en el mundo del entretenimiento, la música, tienes ese conocimiento, pero entonces también le añades eso, maestro en fotografía. Pues mira, eh, cuando la gente te rodea y te conoce, saben cuáles son tus habilidades. Yo no me había dado cuenta que mi habilidad era la fotografía, pero yo siempre andaba con una cámara okay. y sacaba mis fotos y cuando la gente la veía, wow, y esa foto, pero tú deberías dedicarte a ser fotógrafo. Y en un momento dado dije, oye, voy a, voy a darle la oportunidad a lo que la gente me está diciendo y voy a hacerlo. Entonces, esto... Me fui a estudiar fotografía, estudié con, con varios fotógrafos de nivel mundial y eso me abrió la oportunidad para poder comenzar eh, a trabajarlo en Puerto Rico. Eh, me dio la oportunidad de salir publicado en periódicos como El Nuevo Día, en Primera Plana, eh, en muchas revistas, eh, ser utilizado para 
turismo en Puerto Rico, la agencia de turismo para promocionar Puerto Rico. Fui utilizada mi foto en libros para educar a fotógrafos de una editorial inglesa. Esto, y obtuve el grado de Master Photographer. Eh, normalmente toma unos 8 a 10 años en lograr obtener ese, ese título, pero yo en 5 años lo logré obtener, ya que eh, en las competencias que se hacen, en las que se evalúan las fotografías, primer año gané primero, segundo y tercer lugar, wow. el segundo año gané primero y segundo, y así sucesivamente. You know, in, in this guy, in, you know, getting the Master of Photography taking 8 years, but he did it in 5 and he was doing some competition then he won first second and third first and second you know always the high price huh yes definitely wow man you know congratulations because Thank you. Thank it's you so something is something then you know as a puerto rican uh we are proud to have people like you then basically go around the world and show the art because basically it's an art Um, showing through your lens whatever you you took a picture, and that is is an art. Yeah, this is this is an honor for me and a blessing. So I um, capture the moments of the people, Correct. you know, uh, life moments, and they saw them uh, cry, remembering the, these moments. This is uh, something that uh, money can buy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna come to J3. Okay. ¿Cómo comenzó todo? How everything started with you? I should know, you know, you were playing and you see the stage, but when you start with that interest and say, okay, I'm gonna learn to play this instrument and do something and maybe to do this as a hobby, maybe to turn this to a professional uh, career. Okay, um, as, he, as Dad said, um, everything started when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. um, and when I turned about 18, eight years old, sorry, uh, I said, I want to play the guitar like you do. So I started okay. practicing the guitar, with the acoustic guitar, started learning, the pain with the strings, getting used to um, playing the guitar. Eventually, in the band um, that my dad had in that time, There was a space for a bass player. Okay. So that's when I just my, I, my dad said, if if you like it, you can start learning the bass and okay. maybe get into the band eventually. And I started playing the bass and I fell in love with the bass. Wow. So I started practicing, have my first bass, start taking classes, and in about like um, two or three years, eventually I started entering the band, started playing in the concerts. In that moment. The bass guitar was taller than me, <laughs> so it was wow. really funny seeing a 12-year-old kid playing the huge electric bass wow. uh, in the concert. So I like I like to be a showman because I like I saw my dad being a showman, a guitar player, playing the solos. So we practiced together every movement, and we run together to the stage, and it was really fun. Dad and nice. I playing together, um, even though I, I've learned to read music and play music is actually a hobby, more of a passion. Okay. And I see it more like a time to, to be with my dad. Okay. We have fun together, okay. we enjoy, we have conversations, and I believe that the music brings a connection that no word can ever bring. So when we play music together, there's like a, a new level of connection. We start jamming, we start developing new music, and that's a special moment between dad and son. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, you know, I always bring this on the show. Why? Because our audience, they have people with a dream and they might, uh, you know, listening this, they say, yeah, you know, if they did it, I can do it yes. as well. Yes, and and they, that dream, they become a reality for them. Yes, uh, and they see, uh, we have many, uh, you know, this is over six season in uh, the station and on the YouTube channel. Um, we're seeing different actors, musicians, community leaders. They bring their stories, then somebody out there, they might use it for, hey, this is the engine or the gas to start my engine and become my reality. You know, have it my right. uh, different, uh, you know, the career that they want to have, to have that uh, starting and develop from that point. Yes. That That's always correct. why we ask how everything started. 
But let's take this first commercial break. And when we come back, we will continue talking about your stories and uh, you know, the projects that you guys are working. And uh, you guys have been listening their music. Uh, and we're going to talk about that on the next segment uh, because the name of the band, you might know because they've been in our show many, many times. But let's take this first commercial break and we'll be right back with more of b to Passports on GKI Radio. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, we are in GKI Radio. This is B Length Passports. My name is Joe Batista. I am your host. And tonight we have special guests. They are father and son, musicians, also a master on photography, Mr. Jose Del Valle, and I say Jose Jr., but it's J3. <laughs> okay, let's talk about projects in the past. In the first segment, we learn about your story, how everything started, but we want to know specifically projects in the past. For the audience, you guys have been listening their music. Libertad is the title of the song from Marcados. That's the name of the band. These two gentlemen here are part of that band. Tell us about the band. Uh, you know, first, how do you guys, okay, let's put this band together. And the band, uh, you know, the kind of music that you guys bringing uh, to the audience. Let us know. Uh, bueno, nosotros comenzamos con lo que era música rock. En aquel tiempo okay. cuando comenzamos, lo que estaba en Puerto Rico era lo que le llamaban el indie rock. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Bien? Esto, y pues nos fuimos con esa onda. Pero al pasar del tiempo, eh, pues el rock como que fue en tendencia al pop. Entonces, bueno, hicimos más como pop rock. Bien, esto, y nos hemos tratado de, de ir moviendo según las, las tendencias de la música. Lo que han estado viendo acerca de libertad, ¿verdad? Sí. Es esto... Ya la tendencia que hubo hace un, unos años atrás que entró el reggae bien fuerte en Puerto Rico nuevamente. En una isla caribeña, el reggae tiene que estar, ¿verdad? Claro. Pero hubo un despegue bien fuerte nuevamente en el reggae y aprovechamos esa onda. Hicimos esto, Libertad. And let me tell you, it's one of my favorite songs. No only, no only for what the song said, but it's the rhythm. And, and the music, they involve you to listen and everything that he, uh, is right there on that song is true. Yeah, this is a, um, a many uh, music concepts uh, fusion that have a, a batucada brasileña. Yes. Um, that have a, a trumps from Puerto Rico, uh, brass. Okay. Um, the reggae and rock. So it's a, a fusion to make this kind of a song. It's basically you put everything on an osterizer and yes. mix it and <laughs> hey, that's it. In high. <laughs> In high with a couple you know, you know, eyes and a little bit of water. <laughs> it, but now uh, tell me uh, you know, about the band. Uh, how do you guys decide uh, to put together the band? 
Actually, the band started a few years before I joined. Uh-huh. Uh, I eventually joined the band as a bass player and okay. as a chorus in that moment. Okay. Eventually, we both become lead singer, lead singers in the songs. Okay. And you can see because the the songs are rock, pop rock. But once I start joining the band as more of a lead singer, you start seeing more electric music, trumpet. Okay. There. He put the twist. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> like the piano with pads and electric sounds. Um, and, and in Libertad, you actually can see some of those songs, the influence of both yes. of us, which is actually what makes the song and, and Marcados okay. so yes. interesting. Because you have the, the old era of reggae, ska, yeah. rock, and it have the modern yeah. rock with the electronic sounds. We fuse it together and, and it creates a unique type of music. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Because when you listen in, you know, it, it's a flavor. You know. uh, I'm from here, you know, Puerto yes, Rico, yes. yeah. <laughs> uh, musician, yeah, I used to play in, uh, salsa, merengue, uh, bachata, when the bachata started, yeah. <laughs> I was prohibited. Uh, the story of the bachata, the people uh, know the bachata was prohibited in uh, Dominican Republic because there was music for the bars. Wow. Wow. And the songs, you know, every song, that lyrics, they were talking, you know, stuff that were prohibited, you know. Okay. It's like the reggaeton now. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they have, uh, this guy is called, you know, um, uh, Romeo Santos yeah. with the, the band and other people. They start cleaning and putting, uh, you know, different flavor, Monchi Alessandra, and that become more commercial. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how... The bachata star, you know, well, on the old mainstreaming on the yes. old radio stations, uh, and I used to play Latin uh, rock. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I remember on the last band I was playing in here in Puerto Rico, uh, I was the um, percussionist, but also the, I was the only bass in on that because we didn't have any drummer. Wow. You know, I was doing everything that the drummer is supposed wow. to do. That was me on the percussion, and we used to have two guitars and a bass. That's very busy. Yeah, super <laughs> busy. And then when I moved to the U.S., um, one of the bands that I play, a Christian band, uh, was one of the percussionists. Um, we used to have two percussionists, and that was the opposite. We have two percussionists and a drummer. Okay. And we were, you know, everybody, you know, guys... <laughs> Lower, lower, like, <laughs> come on, we have our hands, they need to uh, um, have the sound over uh, the strings most of the time. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, and, you know, seeing the, the fusion that you guys did in made, you know, a very, very great opportunity for the people, for the audience, you know, get something fresh. Um, no, the same thing, you know, right now, and, and you know, sadly, uh, we, and you see the, the wave now, the new wave is the reggaeton, the urban music changed completely, and they now they have fusions with different rhythms because they want the same beat all the time. Yes. And the people got bored. Mm -hmm. And that's why they start adding. Uh, different rhythms and they are in different sounds. Uh, for example, you uh, on the, the audience, they can listen to Carol G. Carol G, they have some songs, then you can have strings, mm -hmm. you have trumpet, and it's a variation of what was the original reggaeton. Mm -hmm. That is the new wave or tendencies uh, with the music. Then Right now, it's 80% reggaeton and 20% of the, the, <laughs> the others, sadly. They used to be the opposite because they used to be salsa and the merengue, you know, went over and salsa went down and there was always the competition between the salsa and merengue. Now it's the reggaeton covering everything around the world. Yes. Now, going back to um, your project uh, with Marcados, how long uh, Marcados has been uh, together? Wow, 15 years? 15 years. Probably. Wow, yes. wow. Yes. And um, always Christian music? 
Yes. yes. Okay. Um, Christian music and positive uh, message. That is the difference right there. Yes. Because it's bringing positive messages and uh, with the uh, uh, twist, with the uh, Christian yes, music. Yes, we want to, uh, to talk about life. Correct. You know, um, for us, this is important, the family. And we try to bring in our songs um, something new to the people. Okay. You know, the people are uh, tired of bad things in the life. Yes. Um, you know, bad experience. And they want to hear something that uh, make them dream. Think about positive stuff. And this is uh, the, the idea in our songs. Yeah, right now in the world there's a lot of negativity um, coming with so many, you know, the topic all the time is diseases here, diseases yes. there, we're going to war, that's the topic everyone is talking about, um, but we actually want to bring hope that Correct. there's a brighter future that we can build, and yes. each person builds that future, and awesome. your future is in your hands and you can build it, and that's about what our albums have been about, like, for example, our album Brilla, means about bringing light to the world, that we can be the light for others, for our family members. Libertad, you don't have to be um, limited to something in life. Yes. You have um, mental liberty, you have liberty to make your own decisions, spiritual liberty to make everything happen, but everything is a choice. And you have to have the choice to have hope and have that freedom. That's awesome, amazing, amazing. I love uh, that message because the world need that changes, you know, on everything, you know, listening all the time when you have on the on the radio stations, uh, then most people don't listen radio stations now. Most people they use streaming, you know, yeah. <laughs> Apple Music. Um, they have the different uh, platform like Spotify, and you select what you want to listen. Mm -hmm. But if they have more positive music out there, we can have that seat to change the world, most definitely. Yes, as an artist, we have a responsibility. Correct. You know, um, most of the artists are thinking about the money. Yes. But you have a responsibility with all the people. Yeah. You have to bring something that produce peace, love, in um, family unido, uh, yeah, union, you know, to all the people that are hearing you. Yeah, yes, yeah. And, and uh, changing also, in the little ones, the mind, the mindset uh, to change the world. Yes. It's starting with the youth right now. We need to change the youth, what they, their thoughts to make everything uh, a better world for yes, everybody. Let's take another short commercial break. And uh, people remember to drop a comment or question if you would like to hear them on the show. The number is 407. 476-9059. Remember to say my name, Joe Batista, follow it by your name and your comment or question. And you could also hear here in Be Like to Passports on GKI Radio. We are back. We are back from commercial break. Great music. And you're listening to GKI Radio. My name is Joe Batista. I'm the host of Be Line to Passports every Monday at 8 p.m. here in your station GKI. Tonight, we have 
the special guests, these special guests are musicians, but also father and son, and dad is a master on photography. We have Mr. Jose del Valle and J3. All right, on the previous segment, we were talking about Marcados, how everything started with Marcados, uh, with the song that people have been listening in, in our station, Libertad. But we want to know, you know, projects that you guys are doing right now. Uh, we know we are in Christmas and people, you know, taking, you know, slow because it's Christmas. They have a lot of arroz con gandule, lechoncito, <laughs> pasteles, and you get, you know, uh, some flan and tembleque and you get so, uh, you know, full and you decide to take a nap. <laughs> but, you know, plans or um, things that you guys are being doing right now? Right now we are working uh, in, in, a, in a new project. Okay. This is named um, Proyecto Familia, Family okay. Project. Um, this project is about, um, you know, the, the name said, yes. Family Project. This is about the family. Okay. My son, my wife, my daughter. We are working together in a musician project. All right. Um, and the music is Christian music, uh, talking about the spirit, the communication spirit with uh, with our Lord. Okay. And you know, for me, it's, it's very special this project because having my son, having my little daughter with me, my wife, making music is amazing. And the uh, idea is to inspire others that have uh, problems in their families wow. to know that we can do it. Awesome, awesome. We can uh, make uh, our family together, um, let the other things pass away, and make something new, and working on the family. Wow, wow. And uh, how old is your daughter? Um, 18 years old. She's 18. Yes. You know, and she's following uh, the step of yeah. brother yeah. Yeah, she's and the dad. Keyboardist. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. And uh, your wife, she's a vocal? singer. Yes. You know? <laughs> the, the good thing is, everybody carries their own instrument. Yeah. And everybody <laughs> take uh, back home their, their own instrument. Yes. yes. The best ones are the vocals because you don't need to carry anything. For <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. Hey, tell, me, tell me about it. You know, as a percussionist, um, I used to have at least a, a, a little bit of a story. Um, I used to have a Ford Mustang, you know, two doors, Ford mm -hmm. Mustang, uh, and, you know, I have congas, I have a djembe, and I have all, you know, a table with all my toys, I call it my toys, <laughs> you know, the a cowbell, uh, the clave, you know, it's full, and I don't have space for my wife. <laughs> I used to I used to have like okay, you drive your car and meet yeah. me over there. Then uh, when that Mustang broke up, uh, okay, well, let's do um a something. <laughs> we got a Scion, and now the Scion I can put the, you know the back seat down, <laughs> and she can have her own seat because before when like she's driving or with somebody else or meet me uh, you know driving her yes, own car. This is life. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It's bad uh, when you know you are a percussion or a drummer. Uh, then you need to have a minivan or, yes. or something like that to carry somebody. But it's not. Uh, it's better to be a what a violinist uh, than you have a violin <laughs> or or clarinet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something yeah. small. Yeah, you, you carry that and yeah, you can put it anywhere. Yes. <laughs> No offense to all musicians, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's nice. That you know, the, you know, the whole family, uh, you know, is part of the, of the band. Um, and when you guys get inspired, you basically hey, uh, listen, and you guys start putting uh, the lyric and also the music, and then hey, okay, let's record this. That's that's awesome. Yes, that's and awesome. this time. Uh, Jota Tres are uh, writing most of the songs. Nice. Yeah, and is the lead vocal. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's interesting because um, 
as you said, for example, maybe I'm inspired by the beginning of a lyric, mm -hmm. or maybe my dad is inspired by the lyric, and hey, I have this chorus or this verse, I'm gonna send it to you, Let's, I'm gonna record, record a voice memo as musicians. When we get inspiration, <laughs> the voice memos app is uh, like our best friend. <laughs> Every, everywhere you are, you start singing, recording the melody, and we send, we send our voice memos, and we start like developing the songs, um, making sure not, not not only we enjoy it, but mm -hmm. people can get the message. Yes. yes. So, there are so many so many songs that have like complicated lyrics, or the the message is like um, more art artistic. Mm -hmm. But we want to be like more direct about our spiritual health, mental health, mm -hmm. and our connection with the Lord. More, most people right now feel like they don't have purpose, don't have direction, mm -hmm. and in the Bible we can, can have we can find that direction, that purpose in life to help others build a better world and uh, have a better connection with friends and family. Awesome. And uh, you, well, he said now uh, voice messages. In our time, there was like, uh, find the recorder, get the cassette. <laughs> yeah. and, hey, um, I have a cassette with song. You want to listen and you put it on, on the phone or you need to drive to the person and listen this. Yes. <laughs> now yes. now it's all di digital yeah. and, and instantly. Yes. Uh, now it's instantly because you can record it and send it to the person and the person That's can right. continue. And not only that, now you can do it. Uh, for example, your dad is in Europe. <laughs> uh, and you're here and you get inspired, you come, you do that and you submit it and in a couple seconds he's out there and over there. Yes, right. If it was in the past, uh, you need to wait that he comes back. <laughs> yes. and, you know, Definitely. Uh, several weeks and then after the jet lag, uh, now it's time to okay work on a project. Yes. But that's that's great, that's great. And they have that that connection. But now being a lead singer, you have basically a big responsibility as well. That's correct. Um, because it's not only, and this is uh, also for the audience, uh, every people or every person in a band, uh, they have their own responsibility. But when you are a lead singer, you have one of the biggest responsibilities for the whole band. That's correct. Uh, explain how, because you have that, you have your sister, you have mom. Correct. How, you know, you deal with that when you are, you are working in a, a song or a music project? Because now it, it's different. Now it's not that. Now it, you are the lead singer. It's basically you are the boss. <laughs> uh, how, you know, how you, you work with that uh, when you are working on a project? When uh, in the project right now, we're both ha are like consider ourselves like both ha have the head of the project, uh -huh. right? The decisions are taken on a table, all uh -huh. of us, and talk about it, and everybody express their opinion and how we can make it better, right? Yes. Um, and we come to a consensus. But um, as a lead singer, uh, the responsibility is not as difficult with the family as more as what the people see. Okay. Especially being a Christian project, yes. everything you say has more weight. Um, everything you talk about is has to be meaningful to the moment that people are living. Nice. To create a connection, and uh, most uh, as a worship um, ministry, we have to we want to give a spiritual experience that elevates you and makes you feel the presence of the Almighty Being. And creating that connection with the people is the most difficult part. Because everything you start talking, the way you're singing, the way we're interacting with each other, it's everything part of what people is seeing and how they're feeling the emotion with the music. And making them feel hard, and we have uh, a lot of testimonies of people whose hearts have been passing through the depression and yes. through our songs, they have been able to cry, feel a spiritual connection with God, and be fixed about their depression. Uh, families that have been having differences and fights, how they um, cry with the songs and they want to reconcile together. And that's the most, most important part of the project. And that's the most difficult part, creating that experience for the people. Awesome, awesome. And uh, you bring a very sensitive project to the world because it's a Christian band 
bringing a message to help the world understand a couple of things. The word and also how you can transform your life. Correct. That's great. That's great. Man, let's take another uh, <laughs> um, break. Uh, and when we come back, we want to hear your social medias, uh, where the people can see the videos, because they have amazing videos uh, on YouTube. Uh, they have their own channel, and you can see the videos, and you can also listen to their music in the different platforms, and also here in GKI and uh, on our show. But people, thank you for allowing us to be for six seasons in your dial and uh, having fun because for me this is so fun uh, bringing people and this is more fun because this is my first time uh, doing a, the show out of the country before you know traveling in different areas of the state uh, but this is the first time uh, doing the show out of the country and uh, for me has been uh, a privilege being for six seasons in GKI Radio, bringing our show. But people, thank you for being with us. Let's take this short commercial break and we'll be right back with more of b to Passports on GKI Radio. We are back. We are back from commercial break. Great music. You are listening to GKI Radio. My name is Joe Batista. I'm the host of Be Line to Passports every Monday at 8 p.m. And uh, tonight we have special guests. These two gentlemen here, they are father and son. Son name, J3. <laughs> father Jose del Valle, they are part of Marcados, a Christian band, and Mr. Jose del Valle, he's a master in photography. And we've been talking about the career, the music, the Christian music, and uh, we want to hear your social media that people can listen, um, also your songs, and see the videos. Tell us, uh, J3, and the different platforms that the people can listen and see your videos. Of course. If you're looking for our rock, our pop rock, alternative, or reggae, you can search for um, MK2, which means Marcados. MK2 on YouTube, on any streaming platform, being Apple Music or Spotify. If you want to listen to our worship music, you can search for Proyecto Familia Worship. And you can search us on social media, you can search us on YouTube, and on any streaming platform, Apple Music, Spotify, and any of them that you like. And on Instagram, you find it like that? Yes, Proyecto Familia Worship, or if you want the pop music one, um, the alternative one, you can search MK2. MK2, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, uh, future projects for you guys. Uh, what you guys are planning, and, you know, in the next year. We are basically a couple weeks from 2024, starting That's in correct. 2024. Uh, on the Chinese uh, year, they started already. <laughs> they, are, they are a month ahead of us. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, future projects. What you guys uh, have plans uh, for 2024 and many other years. 
Bueno, right now we are working on new songs. Okay. Um, we are hoping to record a new album in next year. And this album will be full 10 songs. Nice. Uh, so we expect many good things. Awesome. Awesome. And more videos. Yes, yes. And featurings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's great. That's great. Uh, and any other uh, projects besides, uh, you know, doing the video, the music, the featurings? Uh, you know, movies or anything. You know, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a movie, movie guy. <laughs> <laughs> that that's my actor. You know, you know they have the evil and, and the <laughs> angel. That was the evil side of the uh, actor. You know, showing up. Uh, anything that you guys say? Okay, you know, we're looking to participate also in a movie uh, as a part of the band. Uh, always. I say, you declare to the world, and the world send it to you. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Um, right now, we're actually um, working on our social medias, creating uh -huh. some type of new videos where we talk. We talk about different topics about life. And also, our music videos will have those featurings. And those who are going to watch those music videos, there will be some secret artists who will be on the back, who will be announcing the new features that will be coming eventually. Awesome! That's 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 marketing. Yes. <laughs> you, show, you show him that. <laughs> no, as a master of photographer, uh, you do marketing. You take some pictures, and uh, hey, this is the way to do it. <laughs> that's awesome. No, you know um, now uh, you know, something that came to me in the last second uh, recently. Uh, we have uh, a, there was an announcement for the world, but we've been seeing this and uh, this transformation uh, recently. The famous Daddy Yankee, Daddy Yankee, you know, he basically declared to the world that you know he decided to transform his life. Uh, for many people, they were like surprised all the changes, but we've been seeing this transformation of many, many people in the urban music. You know, Hector Fadel, and we have other uh, artists uh, that decided, you know what, I was so empty. I was a millionaire, but I was empty. And they decided to start a new life. Your thoughts about you know how the people being accepting more and more and more to become a new uh, person. Uh, para nosotros es parte de nuestro trabajo. Es lo que nosotros nos hemos centrado. Que todas las personas, sin importar que sean famosos uh -huh. o que no lo sean, o que sean personas comunes. ¿verdad? que tengan vidas que piensan que pues, no, no son famosos o que no tienen mucho dinero o lo que sea puedan también obtener esa paz que Dios da en la Biblia dice de nada me sirve que yo me gane el mundo que yo conquiste el mundo si pierdo mi vida ¿verdad? pues este, para nosotros eso es parte de lo que nosotros hacemos en nuestra música es que todo el mundo pueda oír el mensaje de Cristo y todo el mundo pueda decir yo lo acepto como mi salvador y voy a transformar mi vida y yo sé pero accepting the Transformation is basically key. It doesn't matter if you are a rich person or you don't have a dime. Basically, when you do that, you accept that transformation, you get, a, a, you are a new person. Yes. And you going to become a complete a different person on everything that you do. Most yes. definitely. That's right. Awesome. Well, your final thoughts before we finish the show? If you have a dream, keep following it. Don't quit. Anything is possible, especially with the help of God. If you make everything right, eventually everything will make itself possible. The most difficult part is starting. Starting is the most difficult part, and being consistent gets you places. So keep working hard. Awesome. Jose? Well, we're working on family, so... Um, respecting the family. This is very important. I think that uh, the success in our family is the respect. It doesn't matter you have uh, um, your father, your son, your, you know, you have uh, used to talk with them. Um, respect is important, you know, and 
make God part of your family. Awesome. Guys, thank you for accepting the invitation. Thank you uh, for bringing the message, bringing the uh, transformation on different life, not only in Puerto Rico, because your music is worldwide using the different platforms that you guys use. Uh, and we know they have transformation out there. Probably you don't see it physically because it's in another country probably, but using your songs, the messages in your lyrics has been transforming many, many lives in the world. That's well, great. definitely. Thank you for thank you. accepting the invitation. And people, thank you for being with us in another b to Passport. I'm so excited because this was my first time doing the show out of the country and basically doing it in Puerto Rico. Uh, we've been doing this show in a special studio uh, with our friend Alexander from Conectate TV uh, in Mayagüez, Puerto Rico. We're going to put the information also in our uh, YouTube channel. They, you need to contact him. You have a project or something that you need to do in Puerto Rico. You can contact him and uh, the studios in Mayagüez, Puerto Rico. People, again, thank you for being with us in another Beeline to Passports. And remember, be a leader. Rock the world. Inspires others with your emotions in control. Good night.